Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Story and this is your Destiny 2 Weekly Reset video. We are running from the 24th of July up until the 31st of July. The last faction rally of Season 3 has ended and New Monarchy... They won. Did they win? They did! Celebrate with New Monarchy. We're going to run over there and have a look at the rewards in just a moment. But before we do, let's have a look at what we've got to play with this week in Destiny 2. Well, we've got Unite for Leviathan, Call to Arms, Clan XP, Heroic Strikes and whatnot have all been reset. So you can go and do those all over again and earn yourself some powerful gear. The Flashpoint this week is on the European Dead Zone, so have at it. And uh, what have we got for Strikes and uh, Bits and Pieces? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Okay, for our strikes this week, our heroics have Arc Singe for the week, and today's modifiers are Blackout and Grenadier. With the last patch, of course, Blackout had a bit of a nerf. If you are high light level, very high light level, then this may not be as beefy as it once was, so you may hate it just that little bit less. For the weekly nightfall this week is the Tree of Probabilities, so if you're after this little chickadee, the DFA, the Dedicated Farming Award. If you're after that, then the Tree of Probabilities is the nightfall that you want to be grinding, ladies and gents. Let's hope there's no bugs this time around. How about our weekly Crucible playlist? Well, we'll have a little look. So, of course, we've got Quick Play, Competitive, as we have normally. Rumble is now uh, a static uh, static playlist, so that will always be included. We've got our private match, but here's the money. The weekly playlist is doubles, ladies and gentlemen. So have fun doubling. Escalation Protocol is apparently dropping the SMG this week. This is what I'm hearing on Twitter at the moment. I, I do apologize if I'm wrong. I thought it would be the sniper this week, but I'm hearing tales of it being the smg which is happening to be one of my favorite guns in the game at the moment lots of fun um so that's what should be dropping this is just a rumor i can't confirm it obviously the video has to be made very very quickly it has to be um done fast as fast as possible so i don't have the time to go and farm it myself because rng would probably have me uh doing the video way too late so i'm up this is the rumor that the smg is dropping but uh, if there's any difference have any discrepancies please slap it in the comments and um uh, let all the guardians know what you've been getting thank you very much uh let's have a look what tess is selling Eververse. Of course, prismatic matrices have um, bitten the dust. You've got your discovery bundle, which can includes these prototype engram shaders and dust, which is good. Home run is the emote exotic of the week, and it goes a bit like that. Yes, my hunter looks fabulous. I know. Yeah, that's that's, that's courtesy of the uh, new monarchy. We've got awaken the more war mind emote there we go it's not showing the uh, the computer screens on the preview why not give me them there they are the laptops hacking away getting into my battle net and deleting all my things there we go uh we've got fiery the fiery pronunciation a sparrow a dusk carrier a ship we've got the exotic bursting wisdom shell we've got the um Helmet, the Eververse helmet this week. We've got a particle accelerator weapon ornament for Graviton Lance. That's very nice indeed. We also have the Devil's Work, a fantastic ornament for the Huckleberry. I really like that. That looks great. And down to business. That's one for sweet business. That kind of makes me think of Swallows and Amazons. Maybe I'm weird, but there we go. We've got some uh, Transmat effects, a bunch of shaders and boons. And of course, you can buy things for silver should you wish. Shall we hop on over to uh, Mr. Benedict and have a look what he's uh, got for us this week? I think we shall. Obi-Wan Kenobi, let's see what you've got for us this week. We have this fantastic Eater of Worlds helmet. We have the Eater of Worlds gauntlets. We have the Leviathan normal mode chest piece. We have Spire of Stars um, boots there as well. I've never seen those. What do they look like? Oh, I kind of like them. And now we've got the Prestige Leviathan uh, cloak or class item there. And of course, the Conspirator Scout Rifle with small bore, polygonal rifling, extended barrel, full auto trigger system, ambitious assassin and dragonfly. Does it take a shader? Of course it does. Look at that. All of these raid, raid weapons take shaders very, very nicely. I love, I love a bit of Crimson Valor. There we go. That's what's been uh, selling at the old uh, Benjamin. That's what you can have for your raid tokens and whatnot this week. Let's have a look at what Uncle Triple Wreck has got for us, because New Monarchy have won. All righty, what's the prize? It is a rocket launcher, of course. It is the Broadsword Launcher. 
And this has counter mass, volatile launch, smart drift control, implosion rounds, high velocity rounds, and auto loading holster. That is the prize. New Monarchy's first ever win, I do believe, in Faction Rally. I'll take that and put that in my basket. Uh, if you didn't um, pledge to New Monarchy and you still want to pick that up, you can for 50,000 of your finest glimmer. There we go. Congratulations, Uncle Triperek, and uh, have an absolutely fantastic week in Destiny, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Story. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, slap the indicator of the upward thumb and remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.